Salt Lake City ish area? Yeah, we really walk away. We walk away. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. We walked here. <laughs> it's awesome. I had to fly here. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. How is tell me about cosplay in Utah because I've never been to Utah. What's the cosplay scene like here? I thought it was pretty dead. Yeah, but then once you find it, it's very active and we're exuberant about cosplay. It's so very much a subculture. It is a subculture. Really? So you have to kind of like know somebody to really find out everybody. Yeah, I had no idea what cosplay was until my friend literally dragged me, put me in a costume, and pushed me into a con. Was it this con? Yes, it was actually four years ago, and it was a culture shock. It's like, there's people with like multicolored hair and they're touching each other. Why? <laughs> Do you have any advice for people who want to cosplay? Um, Start early. Start early. Yeah, it's, it is okay to buy costumes to begin with if that's what you need to do. But I mean, if you really want to get into cosplay, you do want to kind of teach yourself the skills of how to make them. Don't pick because the hardest. Yeah, yeah, don't pick something hard. Don't start I was like, start Sailor Moon was actually sure. relatively yeah, easy to put together. So you know what I would actually really <laughs> suggest to people is remember to have fun when you yeah. cosplay. So many cosplayers get caught up in getting your picture taken. How many people know my name? How many hits are on my deviant art? When really we all started doing cosplay play because we loved the series and we had fun running around like an idiot being a character and playing pretend. Right, right, right. And I really think that's what a lot of cosplayers lose touch with is we're here to have fun. We're here to have fun, not into this, oh my gosh, I have a picture taken of me today. There's something to say. I can't handle this. And I've run across cosplayers like that. Oh. Okay, but my girlfriend like is totally like calls you on your camera and everything. Oh, you want to give her a shout out? Hey, Erica. I'm totally. Wait, where is she? I. Here, she's around somewhere. Shop. Where do I go stalk you? I'm. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure you're going to bring her back here, aren't you? Yes. Okay, bring her back here. We're just going. We were just going. You know, bug people. That's how I do anyway. I get bored at conventions. <laughs> well, honestly, I just talk to people. That's all I do. It's totally awesome. Yeah, I just run around, talk to people, shoot, 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 shoot. shoot. Uh, okay, I'm not going to shoot that. So, we'll put, yeah, we'll put a camera right here. Come step over here. This is a video camera, so you might be on YouTube because I shoot like four hours of like four hours of footage every con, and then I squeeze it at 20 minutes. That's neat. What? I like your videos. You like my videos? What? This is the camera. <laughs> yes, I'm here. I'm tired of people here in Utah. Well, okay. I'm not famous, but I'm not famous. So I'm here in Utah. That photo is famous. This guy is famous. I don't know how he's handling it because I haven't seen him since <laughs> AX. He's on he the cover of a book. He probably doesn't even know. Oh, he knows. Oh, I mean, I see. Huh? Oh, hey, it's a medic. Doctor. It's DJ and Sarah. Wait, wait, that's that. Wait, yeah. Yeah, we know them. Oh, you know them? Yeah. Wait, where are they from? 
Saw the oh, okay. <laughs> okay. No, okay. So in um, cosplay, you get into different cliques, yeah. and then people who are really good at cosplay become like these weird elitist like nerds. They're really like elitist nerds, but like it becomes elitist cosplayers where they like look down on other people's cosplay. It's totally hilarious to watch them interact, but that's the worst part about cosplay is cosplay elitists. Like all these different anime clicks, I'm like, oh gosh, he showed up from, uh, he's dressed like Spock. Why? Oh, why not? <laughs> yeah. I it's like, a, like one thing, I never hear um, about like Comic Con people being like, um, oh no, someone, a Vash, a Sam, Vash showed up at our convention. It was the worst. <laughs> I don't explain to him, you, maybe Spider Man, Deadpool, Hawkeye, no Vash. <laughs> Okay. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, you're going too fast now. You're going too fast. Oh! You all set? Yeah. for an amazing experience. Guys, stickers too. You got some stickers? Stickers. I love stickers. Stickers, stickers. Camera D work. Oh, it's a 5D. No, oh my. That's a 5D. Good gravy. The Mark 1 or? Good. Yeah, first one. Good yeah? Gravy. Yeah, I don't have the I want the, I want the 5D so bad, but I, I think I'm going to um, get the 7D, so. I want to get. I have a bunch of EFS lenses, so they won't work on the full frame. Yeah. So that's that my. Is, uh, that is creepy. That guy's pretty good. He's yeah. not. Yeah. yeah. The guy here yesterday was way good for that too. Oh yeah, I saw him too. Yeah. yeah. He was buff. What's cosplay like here in Utah? Um. Let's see. Is it growing? It's gotten really, really big. In the last few years. And you started. When did you start? I started three, four years ago. Oh, okay. And so you definitely see a, a growth since. Uh... Yes, it's gotten a lot bigger, for sure. Now we have um, like cosplay events instead of just conventions. Oh, yeah, like summer. gatherings, like yeah. picnics and stuff. Uh -huh. Is it on video still? Yeah. yeah, it's on video. So I'm gonna sit here and do this. Oh, he's hugging my pillow. It's Yay. my pillow now. Find no, it's not my pillow. Oh, you okay? Right, right, right. Give okay, me my pillow. Give me my pillow. Uh, where, why do people get into it? People get into Hitalia because of the historical satire. I mean, there's extreme fans on uh, in any yeah, fandom, in anything, yeah. but it's a really nice community from what I have been in. It's actually fun to be with these people because they actually know stuff. They're not just going into some fantasy world. They're actually using real facts to build their character and change their outfits. Because people modify their outfits all the time. And in Hitalia, they do it historically, normally. Vegeta. Dude, so Artist Alley closes at midnight. Can you believe that? That's like a long time. That's like 10 a.m. to midnight. I know. Well, this was made entirely of plywood and PVC. Just nailed and glued it together. Painted it. Okay. So, same with all the weapons, actually. We made it straight, straightly out of wood. Yep. Okay. Um, and how about your wings are the ones I'm worried about. Uh, yeah, we created a uh, skeleton out of iron pipe with it that actually has a, a spring on it so it can open and close. Oh, dude! Yeah. Oh, that's actually really useful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Keep it away. Yeah, dude. Uh, what about the rest of this? Um, everything was hand sewn. All the leather was actually cut from uh, just leather, leather remnants cut and dyed and made into belts and whatnot. Yeah. That's what you get for playing a lovable character. <laughs> okay, so I've decided to replace myself with this guy. You're, you're the new EJ now, okay? You're going to take over. So I want you to I mean, you guys stand over there. All right. Okay. Okay, EJ, do your EJ. Okay. Okay. EJ, do your thing. Buy my books. I'm back. I don't do that. <laughs> I haven't actually paid attention to you, like, my wigs. This is fun. I'm putting him on a spot. <laughs> Come on, Ejen. Do it, Ejen. <laughs> what is the part of cosplay you use that you don't really like as much? All the money I have to spend, all the tears, joys, sadness, and blood that goes into my cosplays. <laughs> 
I think she agrees Have with you. Have you ever like pricked yourself with like a sewing machine needle? That hurts. Oh. Like, cons in California, more people dress up and they, they do have really extravagant outfits, but here it's like the very few people that you do find that have a full on outfit, they put a lot of work and detail into it though. I could tell. Yeah. yeah. Like some of the stuff I can't believe some people actually made. So. I can't believe some of the stuff I see here. I'm like, wow, I didn't expect to see this here at all. You know? Yeah. I'm a geek. I was I was a nerd back when nerd was actually not a good term to be because I got picked on in high school oh. a lot. I'm from Texas. Oh. And how many Asian people do you think actually? Okay, anyway, let's we'll skip this part. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the rental side. So you guys actually rent costumes to people who are what interested in cosplaying, but they don't really want to go out and spend the money. Yeah, um, there's a lot of people they just don't have the time or they just like the, like we said, just not the money, right. but they still want to go out and have a good time. Like, you don't want to come here and be like, oh, I'm dressed in t-shirts. Yeah, like me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you look good. But, um, but yeah, they, I mean, they want to fit in like everybody else because, you know, like, like we said, everybody's yeah. a nerd. Exactly. So they just want to, they just want to show it, you know, because it's think... the only place they really can. Closet Otaku can be, be the nerd, so. Be the nerd, you can be the nerd. Wait, be the nerd. I'm going, to, I'm going to shut up now. <laughs> so, uh, how much does it cost to actually rent something? Like, what's the what's price range? I mean, I know you cover a bunch of, of uh, costumes. Well, for, for like a, a low, lower quality type like type costume, it would be around 30 But okay. if you want like a high quality, a lot of detail, depending on the fabric she uses as well, it can be up to 50 uh, oh, per day. So these are actually all handmade? Um, most of them are. A lot of them... Um, it sounds like a lot of them she gets imported as well. So, yeah. It, um, it's half and half, or is it a combination? Mm -hmm. So depending on if she made it or if she actually got it to come over. So people can actually order this online. So let's say they have a convention coming mm -hmm. up, they can actually go to closetotaku.net and then order it and then it shows up. And yeah, and I, I, I understand that they can email her with suggestions like, hey, will you do this? Or, is, you know, if you know how I can find this. And she, she would send them back like, here, I can do something like this. Or, yeah. That's actually pretty awesome. Per, is this your change purse? or? Yeah, well this is, I actually use it for my con purse and I, because it fits my cell phone and everything. Con purse. Oh. Actually, I've never heard of that before. <laughs> con purse, okay. I think she just invented that. I don't think I've heard it either. <laughs> so, so yeah. can, compared to cons, like, you, not, not the size because obviously yeah. it's different, but how does a Utah con compare to, like, a Texas con compared to a California con? Like people wise, like people wise, it is different. It's this one I get a lot of younger crowd, okay. a lot of you know in between the ages of fourteen and about twenty two. Okay. So it's a little awkward for me, even though no one thinks it. <laughs> How about Texas cons? Um, Texas cons are a lot more relaxed. You're chilling. Um, there's not like the photo barrage. Shoot. That's fanime. A fan of, yeah, Fanime is like you gotta know all the photographers and you do photo shoots all the time and they got the great locations. Um, Texas cons are a lot more chill and we're like, we're here to have fun. Like, Anime Fest, I will say, is my best chill con. Wait, I actually should video this thing. Like, uh -huh. hey, tell me, I mean, that's. So you actually made a mask? Yeah. Your hair is like. It's held up by gelatin. <laughs> How much job did you put in that thing? It's, it's gelatin, so gelatin? it's jello with no flavor. And, uh, what? Yeah. yeah. You, you can do that? Uh huh. You just hang Wait. upside down for like 20 minutes and air dry it or blow dry it, and then you're good. You tell me you hung upside down for for about 20 for about 20 minutes, yeah. But I slept in this last night, and it's still the same. Can I, you know, like? Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. dude, that's pretty awesome. Purse box thing. We got. Usually, I have my ninja pouch, which has a bunch of candy in it. Not ninja weapons or scrolls. Candy. Where's the candy in there? Oh, uh, I candy. ate it all. Aww. I'm gonna buy more though. Okay, come come back before oh, it's gone though. You just want candy too. Yes, I do. I was looking for candy now. So iPhone I charger. Hey, cat ears. Cat ears. Paws, but the paws won't fit with the wig in there. I think you need two lunch boxes now. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Tell me about how you, you go to that. a craft store. Right. That they call it plaster wrap. It's like five, maybe ten bucks at the most. It's what they used to make casts out of. It's. It's like gauze with plaster in it. You cut up it in little strips, put Vaseline on your face so you keep your eyebrows, put, That's probably put smart. it piece by piece on your face and build it up. Now this one's built off of my own features, just exaggerated. 
little bit of time. Yeah. Takes a lot of time. Just don't ever go as a cat person. No. Oh, I should ask you for advice. Any advice for people who want when to cosplay? When I went as a cat person last year, I got so many pictures taken. I haven't seen any of them, but a lot of them were taken by creepy old guys. Yeah. I'm not taking being a cat person again. <laughs> <laughs> but don't pick something from like a really obscure anime or manga either, because then you have people going, what are you dressed as? You look weird. I'd be wary of some of the haters yeah, that are around. Because one of, of our friends, she got pounded on because she was dressing up as a guy, and they went, you're doing it wrong. You're supposed to, you're not a guy. You can't be this person. And oh, she's like, like almost reason. like almost exactly like the person. Yeah. Really? So, yeah. That yeah, seems kind of like a stupid thing. Yeah, yeah. there's some people that come here just to be rude. Yeah, there's, but, lots, there's some haters around, but. Wow, yeah. They just can go F you and. Run away. <laughs> Walk away. Just move on. Just yeah, move yeah. on. Yeah, security if somebody bothers you, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Ta, and your first con was actually on, uh -huh. back, what, five, six years ago? Yeah, in uh, 2005. Five. Yeah, 2005. Years yes. too? You too? No, mine was uh, Bonsai of... No, my first con, just kidding, was Anime Expo 09. Just kidding. And you did a photo shoot for me. I did? Yeah, did when I, I was Reno. Wait. Uh -huh. Wait. Yeah. Wait, where's your mom? <laughs> Uh huh. Wait, wait, I remember you. Uh huh. I just look really different right yeah, now. Yeah, I know. So. I remember your mom was there too. Yeah, mom is like the best. So. Yeah. Yeah, see, I can't recognize. <laughs> I, t I took her picture like 2009. I can't remember her because. Yeah. That's and I was right, come because back I did. not say hi yesterday, but you weren't here. Okay, I remember now. Yeah, I remember now. Yeah. You guys mentioned Utah back in 2009. Yeah. See, right I do have a memory, then. kind of, sometimes. <laughs> okay, besides the size of the con, how do you compare Utah cons versus California cons? Um, the. The age group is a lot different too. Age group's like, uh, different? Yeah. Um, I've noticed that there's a lot more older people at, in California cons, a lot more maturity. Um, <laughs> and like in, in Utah, there's there's a lot of younger kids who are like just starting out with cons. They just found anime. Like, yeah. Oh, okay, so, okay. So they go to you know the local cons, they're, they're young. So when you say older, you mean just people in their 20s? people 20s? who are more experienced and with cons and stuff like that. So okay. that's what I've noticed. So do you like prefer one versus the other? Um, I do prefer California cons. Just I know, because I do. There's, there's so many more like, amazing costumes and people just seem to have uh, more ambition when they go to the larger cons to get something amazing out. And, it's just everything is bigger. It's more. You grand. should move, then. I know. Yeah. I want Why to. Can't I you want move? to move to San Diego and bother you guys all the time. <laughs> once, once I'm done with college. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> just move to LA. Just yeah. you, can, you can move in with me in my big house okay. with everybody. Sounds good. <laughs> 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 yeah, you mean a pretty phrase. San Diego and Comic Con. Yeah. Exactly. Oh my gosh, I want to go. I need to go. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, it's not right now. I don't care. <laughs> I want to go right now. There's nothing there right now. Let's just find an empty convention. So cool, look. It's, Hi. Uh, I talked to her back in uh, AX and, oh, that, see, now I'm stalking you because I came all the way out here to your convention. That's okay. Is that okay? <laughs> that is okay. Okay, so it's now been, okay, AX was July, August, September, October. Oh that was four months ago. Yes. How was the whole AX experience to you? And that was your first time, right? Yes. So it was amazing. It was like the funnest four days of my life. I've never felt more accepted. I know that sounds weird, but it's like you can dress up however you want. People are like, that's so cool. And you know? here you are. Is it, what, I can't. I know you came with other people. Did you come too? Yeah, yeah. I was with her. I was okay. like. My friend wanted to meet you. Oh really? Oh, by the way, this is EJ. He's taking over. I'm I'm his copy. I'm his yeah. replacement. He's the replacement. He's taking it's over like, for me now. Shit. You will be my Utah connection. I'm the Utah. You're, you're the Utah EJ. I know. Oh, this is great. We just do 50 EJs all over the country. Yes. Yeah, like, <laughs> just need to get my haircut and then I'll be EJ. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 You know. That's what we need. Go on, sunglasses. Just cut your hair. Do your hair up. Yeah, we can be it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it works out. Yeah. 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 It's a video again. I actually met I actually met her at AX this year. Oh yeah. really? And she's from no, yeah. No, don't worry. I'm so I'm in the video. He's, she's in the video for AX. Now she's in the video for. Oh, I'll probably put her in this video. Sweet. I like being included. You like being included? Yeah. So now that you've been to both, tell me the difference between besides the size. What's the difference between a Utah and con and a California con? Well, the ones in California, I think there's. I just this is kind of random, but there's a lot more revealing outfits. This is kind of that's because Utah doesn't like you to be naked. Oh, Welcome here. to Utah. 
This exactly. is a new anime convention happening in Utah. Ooh, anime Salt, anime Salt Lake. Anime Salt Lake. Three, I thought it was going to happen in Salt Lake. Twelve. Yeah. Where's the website? Ah, you got to scan that, yo, yo. You did, you're lying to me. My book is not in Scotland. It so is. Why is this? Huh? I don't know. I just found it while I was looking through the library at school. What were you doing? So wait, but you, were you like on an exchange program? Yeah, I, when I studied abroad. Are you serious? My book's... I didn't expect my book to go out that far. Yeah, it's, it's in Scotland, so... Yay, so you're in Scotland. Go to the... Which library? Which one? Uh, it was the Edinburgh Napier Library. That's just so amazing. <laughs>